The winner of the Creative Reuse category is St. Barbara Bastions by Architecture Project in Malta. Well, congratulations on winning the project. This is one of the projects with one of the most intriguing titles. Tell me, what is St. Barbara's Bastion and what is the project that you did there? St. Barbara Bastions is uh, simply a bastion along the uh, three kilometers of fortifications which surround the capital city of Malta, Valletta. And Valletta is a world heritage city and um, going through uh, rapid regeneration, pretty decent regeneration at the moment. And our clients mm, acquired a property um, on one of the most spectacular spots within the capital overlooking the Grand Harbor. And we were asked to restore and convert this property. In, the, into what? So what is it into, now? So? Into office accommodation together with a residential apartment at roof level. Okay. So talk us through the images then. What's, this clearly isn't the project, is it? No. To be honest, I didn't really take this part very seriously, but <laughs> I didn't expect to get here. But um, an image from a very silly film, but an old film, it's Barbarella. And the only thing it's famous for is it has a young Jane Fonda in it. And it's all, I mean, it's a science fiction movie and it's all that. But the only real, the real reason why I put it up was the idea of sensuality in architecture. And I think that's a very important, but not sexual terms, but also in terms of tactile terms, in terms of spatial qualities, the lighting qualities, and all this other stuff. Who on this one? Uh, this is creative reuse, evidently. I mean, but it's also to do with sustainability, recycling, looking after planet Earth and all the resources. And basically, the, the clock wheel is an idea of, that we used in a recent event that we organized in Malta, which is and it kind of, kind of became for us a symbol that time is fast running out, basically. Mm. And in, in your work and in, in Malta, do you do a lot of kind of reuse of existing buildings? Is that a large part of what you do? What does your office specialise in? Oh, we specialise in restoration. We do a large part of our work is restoration of historic properties. But in, I mean, if you know Malta, then you find that it's very difficult to avoid touching uh, history and um, historical monuments. Mm. So. And speaking of history, <laughs> tell us about this. This photograph is almost a historical monument itself. It is it? definitely a historical monument and it forms one of those uh, m moments in life that you can never really forget. No, and this was when I was pretty young. But it also ties in very much with my formative years, if you like. So university, I remember one of our teachers was an American former Vietnam vet. And we think the whole the whole thing affected him. Um, some say positively, some say negatively. But he was very good. I mean, he was, had an enormous influence on my, on, on my education and attitude towards architecture. And so, to me, this is one of those yeah, memorable events um, in my upbringing, which is all, but it also reminds me of all those people who had an effect of, on what we do and what we become as we grow. Mm. And this, this, could this be Malta? This is an image from the presentation. This is definitely Malta. It's a view from the project overlooking the Grand Harbour. Um, and it combines a number of elements that really would say, make architecture to a extent very personal. So this represents what we, as Mediterranean, as Maltese, um, the climate, the historical context, the sea all around us, the warmth. So, we become what we are also partly due to the circumstances that surround us and behind us. Cool. And your final image? I mean, it's, it's all to do with the idea of the power of architecture, of creativity, of the human mind, if you like. And I was trying to look for all these fantastic images of fantastic cities, fantastic situations, fantastic creations, um, fictitious or not. And then it occurred to me that, I mean, we actually do occasionally realize them. And Venice is one of those impossible situations par excellence, you know I mean? Why would anybody build a city in a swarm? And on the other hand, I mean, how it is possible to create something magical and masterful from an, an impossible reality, I would say.
Well, fantastic. Thank you so much, and congratulations.